Um, I like the way Moses Ozebejo uh, dresses. He doesn't try too hard, but he, he looks quite good. He doesn't have to wear designers all the time as well and stuff like that, so he looks quite good. The worst is uh, probably a toss-up between Dushan um, Kuchak and uh, Mbakani. Mbakani came with a jacket yesterday. I thought it was a thriller tribute. Um, so uh, I'd probably have to go for one of those two. Best dance moves, Sammy Klukas has to be. Yeah, he's got, have you seen the House Every Weekend video with a ginger kid doing the dancing? I think that actually is Sammy Klukas, because Sammy Klukas has got all those moves exactly down to a T. Uh, probably myself, um, because, not because I'm late, but I live down the country lane about 20, min 20 minutes away. So I literally leave about 22 minutes to get here. So if there ever is a tractor or a little accident or something, then I could easily be late. Tom, uh, I think, done a little bit of keeper training, I think, at one point. When he was um, coming back from his ankle and he wasn't sure if his ankle would be right, I think he'd done a little bit of keeper training with, with them just to keep himself busy. Um, so I think maybe Tom Odderson. Plus he went in goal for us as well for one of the games when Alan McGregor got sent off. Most knowledgeable about football, probably Elmo. I think he watches literally every game that's on. He's always on his... Um, on his phone looking at the app to see what news is going on in football and stuff, so I'd probably say Elmo. Andy Robertson, he doesn't stop talking. Um, he came here, he's a quiet, shy lad from, from Glasgow, just come down from Dundee United. Um, gave it about two weeks and then he exploded and he hasn't stopped since, so uh, definitely Andy Robertson. Oh, that's a good one. I'd probably like to see maybe Dio because he's, he's a grumpy man. He always seems like he's tired or upset with something or someone. He's a lovely guy, but he's always, like I say, in a bit of a hump. So I'd like to see him uh, trying to do some tasks and, and see if he could actually smile for once. <laughs> I'd have to go with either Jake or Tom. I think Jake. He's got big arms, to be fair to him. Uh, little legs, but he's got big arms. <laughs> I'd say... I'd probably say maybe Alex Bruce is a good shot. He comes out with a few crackers um, in terms of replying to people and stuff he comes out with. And also uh, tweeting about Villa Molly, he tweets about whole City. That's also a one that we've uh, wound him up about. So, uh, yeah, maybe Alex Bruce. <laughs>